Welcome to Mandala Drum tutorial number two, Presets. In the previous tutorial, we showed you how to connect a Mandala to your computer and set up the Virtual Brain software. Now we'll show you how versatile the Mandala is by way of its simple drop-down preset menus. Presets are snapshots of all the settings your Mandala offers. When you load a preset, all the essential parameters automatically fall into place and you'll be set to start playing. We'll also show you how to create a simple preset from scratch and save it to the preset library. Now in the Virtual Brain software above Pad 1, there's a preset menu. The rollover help tells you choose a preset for Pad 1, so we'll click here. And here's our list of presets. We'll load one up called Tommy Gun. So you'll see the pad fill out with sounds and parameters. And we'll play that one a little bit. Now the preset menu is full of percussive presets, acoustic drums, ambient stuff, some electronic stuff. You can explore through that as easily as how we just showed you. Now to create a preset, let's clear our drum by going to Clean Slate in the preset list. It empties out all the zones. And in our zones, which are center, mid-in, mid-out, edge, and rim, we could place any sounds we want to from the huge sound library for each zone. We could put a synth in one, kick drum in one, a snare in one, but let's build a single position based snare. So in the center zone, we'll choose snare overhead mix zone one, mid in zone, snare overhead mix zone two, mid out zone, snare overhead mix zone three, edge, snare overhead mix zone four, and in the rim, We'll put snare, overhead mix, zone 5. Let's play that one a little bit now. And there you have it. Now, if you want to save that preset, this little button here, the rollover help tells you save pad 1 preset. We'll click there. We'll call it snare overhead. Click OK. And now... We've got a preset called Snare Overhead in our preset menu. Now you may notice as you play the mandala that it's got more than just the zones you see on the screen, center, mid in, mid out, edge, and rim. You've got a finer detail of position within those zones, all the way from the center to the edge. Well, that's an example of the high resolution mandala position sensitivity, and you can do a lot with that, which we'll show you in future tutorials.